another thriller in Norman. I'm Ryan Aber from NewsOK.com here at Lloyd Noble Center, where Oklahoma beat Kansas 75-73 to on Saturday afternoon. Let's jump right into the keys. And the first one uh, was the finale of this game. It was fantastic. Buddy Heald had a rough go of it for most of the day, was only 5 of 19 from the field until his tip-in just before the buzzer gave the Sooners the big-time win. Uh, Heald went up over Kelly Oubre to to tip the ball in off of Jordan Woodard, missed layup, and the place went crazy. A sellout crowd at Lloyd Noble Center uh, was absolutely nuts. Uh, Secondly, uh, Kansas was able to hang through despite uh, missing multiple key players. Perry Ellis, uh, big-time starter, had suffered a knee injury earlier in the week. Uh, Brandon Green was suspended for this game. Cliff Alexander uh, was out for his third consecutive game with NCAA eligibility issues. But the Jayhawks hung tough, and that was thanks to a big day from Frank Mason. Frank Mason, 21 points, including five in the last 10 seconds, all at the free throw line. Isaiah Cousins fouled him on a three-pointer. Uh, with a little bit more than five seconds left to set up Buddy Heald's heroics. And Landon Lucas had a fantastic game as well. He was 6 of 8 from the field with 13 points. Both of those guys helped Kansas uh, fill in the gaps for those guys that were missing. And, And finally for Oklahoma, a pair of players that struggled in Monday night's loss at Iowa State Bounced back. Tayshawn Thomas and Isaiah Cousins had uh, strong games. Uh, Thomas had 13 points. Cousins had 16 points and four assists. After the game, Oklahoma coach Lon Kruger and Buddy Heald spoke about the season-ending win. Obviously a game that was uh, pretty tight all the way. We had a little bit of a margin in the first half. Uh, but KU really hurt us on the boards, uh, especially the first half. Uh, uh, big guys were... Uh, our big guys were helping on the drives, and their big guys were having free opportunity to the class. Uh, we did a better job in the second half. Uh, again, the game goes back and forth all the way, and I made big plays down the stretch, and obviously the big tap late uh, was huge. Did Long, you can you talk about that last play, Lon? We wanted to get to Jordan and, and set a ball screen for him at midcourt and have him get to the paint, and uh, he did a great job of getting, getting to the rim, and that, uh, that kind of triggered the opportunity. And Buddy, of course, uh, did a good job of finish. Ron, on the offensive glass, was it just a matter of doing a better job of matching up? Because you turned the tables in the second half. The first half, are, are, you know, when, you, when your big guy is helping on a guard going to the bucket, then he's not in position good. to block his guy out. So that weak side wing has to block him out, and we weren't doing that at all in the first half. The other guards did a much better job of helping uh, blocking out some of their big guys in the second half. Buddy, what are you seeing and doing on that last sequence where Jordan takes it to the basket? Uh, I just saw so I uh, had a good attack, and uh, I just – like being an offensive rebound, I know you could go and the shot in the rim, and I didn't able to tap it back in. It was a good play. Do you know that he's taking it to the rim, or are you out in oh, case he kicks to you for a shot? I was hoping he kicks it to me, like, tell him come to me. But uh, no, I just know Jordan's a good player, he's a good finisher, and uh, as soon as I see him put his head down, I feel he's got a foul call, but there's a whole bit grabbing him, and uh, as soon as the ball ran up, I just, my instinct is to say, go and try to get a rebound and try to tap it back in. Once again, the final Oklahoma 75, Kansas 73 at Lloyd Noble Center on Saturday afternoon. The Sooners open Big 12 tournament play on Thursday at 8 p.m. against Bedlam rival Oklahoma State at the Sprint Center in Kansas City. The Sooners swept the Cowboys during the regular season. Once again, I'm Ryan Aber from NewsOK.com. You can check out NewsOK.com every day and every morning in the Oklahoman for the best OU coverage anywhere.